everyone and welcome back to the Minnesota Homestead. Our cabin has its soul. Yesterday, my husband and I spent some time bringing our 500 pound low pie Liberty stove in and getting the um, everything all set up. We uh, had to uh, run this to our 22 foot ceiling. So between hubby and I, it was a bit of a project and kind of an adventure, but we got it done and it is perfectly in place. I want to tell you about the stove we chose and why we stove, uh, chose it. So as I said, this is our low pie Liberty stove. We went with this because of several reasons. Um, the first one is we wanted to have something that's going to throw a lot of heat throughout our cabin. And this definitely fits the bill. It is ready to uh, heat a cabin of about 2,500 square feet, which is way bigger than ours, um, but we really liked the look and the feel of it, and we definitely don't um, want to have something that's too small. So this is a great stove. It is, as I said, very, very big. It is the largest stove that Low High makes, and it has this great, um, you know, open area in the front, this glass, so we can really see what's happening in there, which is very, very fun. Um, this is a very, very low emissions stove. It's only a 2.6, so that's really excellent, and it is actually the um, most efficient large stove that the EPA has ever approved. So that um, wide um, glass here also means that it's very wide inside. So this can actually, the firebox fits 24 foot wood, so foot. 24 inch uh, wood, which is really, really nice. Um, it is not that cold out yet, so you can see this fire is really, really roaring, and that is not something that is necessary right now. I'm actually getting really warm right here. So something that's great about it is it's got two different aspects to help us really rain that fire in. As you can see, that already made a huge impact. So I've closed the bottom, and now if I head over here, I can close up the flue. And that's also going to help us bring that fire down. So that is really helpful when we are going to bed at night. Um, because this is such an efficient stove and it has these great aspects to it, it can actually burn for 12 hours. So we uh, had this going last night, went to bed, and when we woke up this morning, it had some nice uh, embers still growing in there, blowing in there, and it was still really warm, even though we got down below freezing yesterday, and this is the only heat we have right now. Um, and actually the only heat we plan on using most of the time. Since we're only here part of the time, we will have a furnace to keep it at about 40 degrees most of the year, um, most of the winter, because once we actually get our plumbing hooked up, we don't want that those to burst. Since we don't have our excuse me, plumbing hooked up, this is the only thing we're using right now. And so one of, one of the other awesome things about this stove is the cooking surface. You can see that we're using that right now. First thing is I have a little pan over here, and that is just for the purpose of moisturizing the air. It gets really hot and dry and, uh, dry up here, winter is dry anyway. So I've actually had two smaller pots going for quite a while, and because we're in the middle of our cabin bell, it smells, still smells like kind of like polyurethane and things in here. It doesn't have that cabin smell yet. So I actually have some pine needles in here. So since last night, I've had some um, pine needles going and freshen the air up a little bit. It doesn't smell like pine in here, but I'm hoping it will help start to eliminate some of that polyurethane. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, we don't have our plumbing hooked up yet. So we are doing dishes in a couple of tubs. And over here, I have our water heating for our dishes that we're gonna do before we head out for um, home for the uh, work week. So this stove has been fantastic in the short time we've had it. Um, it's got the nice tight gaskets inside, which helps with that efficiency. Um, another thing that's really excellent about it is it has radiant and convective heat. So radiant is the traditional heat that has been around for years and years. Um, the heat comes just basically out of the front and the sides and back. And so um, it really only heats those areas that are directly aside from those. It heats up anything around it. So radiant heat is really great to throw that heat. Seriously, I'm boiling right here. Um, but it's not great at heating other rooms and things like that. So that's why the convective heat is really great. There are some pipes at the top here, and actually when the gases that the burn, uh, burn gives off go into those pipes, that continues to burn it and emit it back out. So that gives us a lot of um, ongoing heat that also 
also is one of the great things that makes it so efficient. Um, but that convective heat just kind of pushes out everywhere um, and really heats up the whole space. So that's going to be really good and help keep our bedroom warm, our guest bedroom warm, and things like that. So we uh, were really happy to have that dual functionality. So there it is, the heart and soul of our cabin, our low pie Liberty stove. If you are looking to get a stove for um, your cabin, I hope you got some decent information from me here in understanding why we chose this for ourselves. And while you are at uh, the channel right now watching this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Next week there's a little bell, and if you hit that, you'll get notified every time we post a video. To make sure you're getting more fun updates more regularly, you can follow us on Instagram at the.mn.homestead. And lastly, we have a great blog, themnhomestead.com, that we post on weekly. And right now, as I'm heavy into canning season, I am posting a different recipe every week. So make sure to check that out to find some other fun homesteading adventures for you. And we'll see you next time here at the Homestead.